an unlimited number of cats. Chilling. Hello. How are you? What's your first impression of BGC? Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we will talk about our first impressions here in BGC. And we have friends, Gasper, Cookie, and Ace. Ace. It's their first time here in BGC, so we're gonna ask them like what came up to their mind when they like when they first arrived here in BGC. It's their first time. Yeah, we'll uh, show you guys BGC, and that is uh, one of the best places for expats to live here in the Philippines. I've been coming here for about 10 years now, on and off, and I've seen this place grow a lot and change a lot. So uh, we'll show you guys how it is today and why it is the best place for expats. Welcome to Mary Grace Cafe. What are you getting, Greg? Uh, I'm not sure exactly yet, but they have really good. Everything's really good here. It's really nice, high-end food. Yeah. Got the traditional Filipino breakfast over here. Cookie? Um, mushroom soup. Ooh, mushroom soup. No, you ruined it. What you got, Casper? I got meatballs and spaghetti. Ooh, and Ace? Tocino. Tocino. Good? Alright. This is mostly just a uh, breakfast dish. Very common Filipino breakfast. Yeah, they call it bang silog. Bangos with itlog. impression of BGC? This is impressive. You don't realize just how a city of this size and sophistication is in the Philippines. Like you just, you're like amazed, amazed. The traffic is all regular, just like in the States. You have sidewalks everywhere. You have tons and tons of shopping malls. It's, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Nice. So Casper, what's your first impression of BGC? It's the best place on earth. There's cats here. There's an, an unlimited number of cats. What else? Or is, does there need to be anything else? Yes. <laughs> the food was pretty good. The infrastructure is nice. Besides that, I can't really think of anything. I've only been here a day. What about you, Cookie? What's your first impression of BGC? I'm exciting about here because um, it looks like the city in Bangkok, but it's better more than Bangkok. Yeah? Yes. Nice. So here they are. It's their paradise. So every time they see a cat, they always pet them. Oh my god, there's a lot of cats. One, two, three, four. Oh my god. And this one is like just chilling. Hello, how are you? What's your first impression of BGC? <laughs> okay, so Greggy, when was your first time here in BGC? I came here 10 years ago and it was already impressive back then, but there was not too many things. Now it's really expanded everywhere. There's so many things open now. It's really the best place for expats to live anywhere in the Philippines. The infrastructure is good. I'm getting internet as fast as I did back in the US or anywhere else you can pretty much get these days. Uh, you have all the modern restaurants, you have anything you want, and it's all walkable. That's the best part is there's proper sidewalks. You can really go anywhere you want. You're not stressed about getting hit by a car. There's crossing guards all over the place. So it feels very safe, calm, relaxing. It's very first world standard, but you're still paying the third world prices. So you're saving a lot of money over a comparable lifestyle anywhere else. So, 
Market Market was one of the first malls open in the BGC area. In fact, when I first came here, it was the only mall. Now you have Uptown Mall, Asamaura, but that was still the most popular, I think, Market Market. And they cater to all demographics, not just high-end stuff. You can get anything here. behind market market so they have all of this like um stalls here for example this one is from Davao you can find all of this like delicacies from every like cities like for example this one it's Yama pastel they have this like bonds but with yep, Yama inside there it is. There yeah, is for so us. it's 130 pesos it's really cheap so yeah this is a go-to if you want to buy some souvenirs or yeah so now we are walking towards SM Aura. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to the floor. Something to save us close but we're strange. So Esamaura is the high-end mall. You got all the nice brands, kind of Western stuff there, good restaurants. So you can see there's a lot less people around here. And uh, so you see it's like a lot less crowded. Yeah, this is a really nice place to just kind of walk around if you want something a little bit nicer. Very good air con. Yeah. I let Greg talk about BGC because he knows much about BUC more than me, <laughs> so, even even though I'm local. Well, I've been coming <laughs> he, here for he's 10 lived years, here for so, here, so so long that yeah, he knows everything about BGC <laughs> for <Exactly>. sure. <laughs> so I let him do the vlog. It's your vlog now. Okay, welcome to uh, Adventures with Greg, <laughs> <laughs> and here we are in Esamora. <laughs> so here we have the sky park here at Esamora, which gives you nice views of the town, relaxing place to go, and you can actually bring your pets here as well if you have pets. So this is actually yeah, a pretty pet friendly spot. So we are on our way now to Venice Grand Canal Mall in Italy. Uh, you guys have your passport for Italy? <laughs> Got your visa? Yeah, oh my god, I forgot my passport. <laughs> I don't need it. I'm a EU citizen, so I can travel through all of Europe without one. Let alone in fact I am also a EU citizen because I am a Polish citizen, so there you go. Welcome to Venice Grand Canal Mall. We are here in Italy right now. <laughs> but you don't need a passport. You don't need a passport to be here. <laughs> so this is actually one of my favorite malls here in Philippines. The Venice Grand Canal Mall. Here is the ticket booth for the gondola ride. It's 500 pesos per person. And this one is 250 per person. <laughs> there we go. And it's our turn. <laughs> oh, look at Cookie's face. It's so happy. Keeping <laughs> for them.
ordered another bowl of this and we got masaman curry how's your masaman curry oh it is yeah it was very good very good the pepper pow was very good as well oh, holy mac. so how is authentic? it cooking authentic yeah super alright oh so it tastes just like thailand all right, now you have it from a thai person this is authentic thai food very good that's right jet the chak so she's trying the yam won sen. Yeah, there you go. 
if you serve this in th what everything just tastes like yeah just like, it tastes like thailand yeah. yeah so i think we will end the vlog here guys i hope you enjoy this video we really had a great time today oh, so cool. we had so much fun we were so cool and yeah that was a very good food at chata chuck i highly recommend you guys to check it out if you want to get some thai food and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe i mean subscribe see you guys in uh, our next adventures like Tagaytai, Tagaytai. Puerto Galera. let's see tell me let's more see. subscribe bye Bye. 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 We could go to Bye. California Bye. or anywhere you wanna. As long as I'm with you, I'm alright. And we don't need the drama. We'll find our own nirvana. So run away with me tonight. Cause it's